So we didn't get a Transformer Tuesday a couple days ago, but it looks like Hasbro via their Instagram account and their Facebook is acknowledging that and giving us, according to them, a Transformer Thursday today with three, I guess we'll call it reveals on an official capacity. Now this was product that Hasbro hasn't officially acknowledged. One of them they have kind of, but the other two outside of early cropped box images of the robot mode that was on a bio website by Hasbro and Transformers.com. Uh, this is the first time they're officially acknowledging this stuff. Now, this goes into the discussion that Mike and Evan of the design team talked about how Legacy, Transformers Legacy, is not going to be coming out until April of 2022, and we still have dare I say, almost half a year until that happens. So they need to fill the gap with product, and this is going to be that gap filler and the continuation of the Kingdom line. And it's fascinating because when you look at the last line that we had in Transformers Earthrise, that line only went for three waves at most. The, uh, the leader class uh, assortment only went for two waves in, in Earthrise. So this, I mean, when we're looking at War for Cybertron Kingdom here, we're, we're at wave five for a lot of the different price points in some cases. So let's jump into that. What did they show us? So obviously it's three things that we've talked about before, but now we got finally stock images, uh, a little bit of a write-up. And this is clearly done by Evan just by the wording and, and the vernacular of what's being said here. Um, very different kind of um, write-up than we usually get about product. This is very from an engineer and designer standpoint. So they talk about Autobot Pipes and how he's a partial retool of Huffer uh, based off of the G1 animation model uh, with brand new head, waist, chest, tires, forearms, shoulders, and accessories, a big crazy retool. And the cool thing with this image is it now 100% confirms that he's going to come with two pipe accessories. When it was originally stolen from the factory, uh, the factory worker that stole it only got one pipe. So some people were worried that he's only going to come with one pipe. But, I mean, the character's name is Pipes with an S, so I'm pretty sure it was going to come with two. And uh, even, like, third-party versions of this character, which were based off of the animation model, uh, had two pipes. So, it wouldn't. It, it, of course, there would have been two. So, you know, they, they they point out all the little things in the Autobot emblem on the back of the, the robot mode head. The second one that they talk about, Autobot Slammer. Now, this was one, too, that leaked out early, got into the hands of all kinds of seedy individuals. So they talk about how this is a partial, a heavy partial of Ironworks, the modulator MicroMaster base. Um, we're featuring five new tools because, again, it comes apart, so they put a whole bunch of new pieces and new stuff that could be tooled from the ground up. So it's it's a heavy retool with a lot of new tooling on top of it, meaning brand new molds for something that comes apart. Very interesting that they did that, and it really makes me wonder how much more that kind of direction could be done with these weaponizers and modulators and stuff like that that uh, you could kind of use just one section of it and then do a brand new tooling for everything else. I wonder how the molds work out with that. That's something that would be a really good question in the future because that's always been an issue with a lot of Transformers that sometimes a certain part of it cannot be used with something else because you need to use the whole mold and everything else would be waste. Anyway, so they say here this figure, of course, based off of the 1986 uh, Slammer character that came with G1 Metroplex, the little white tank, um, and says here that again... We finally get the confirmation from Hasbro that this is a weaponizer, that th despite the fact that it's using tooling from Ironworks, uh, it looks like it's probably not going to have something that's a base mode that's going to go with your G1 Metroplex, be it the old Generations Thrilling 31 or anything like that, or any future one that we might get, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, Cybertron. Um... So I'm pretty sure the fans will think of something, though. The beautiful thing with both the weaponizers, the fossilizers, the modulators, creativity finds a way, and I'm pretty sure someone will make some cool tower mode or something like that, and it'll be pretty wicked. Uh, it says here, break apart fig figure with missile launcher, uh, chainsaw, turret blaster accessory, all the stuff we saw already through leaked images, uh, but looks great. 
looks great. Again, uh, supposedly the stock image though is mistransformed, but the box art looks really good. That, that nice Kingdom box art that's going to look absolutely fantastic on the Kingdom packaging that just completely covers the box and looks really sweet. And of course, we talked already in nauseam about the new Kingdom Blaster, aka Legacy Blaster, but now we finally get the box, see the box art and all its glory a lot better than just a small little Minton box image that we saw last time, and the stock photos too, which again were also shown on the back of the box. Not much new to mention here. They just talk about this, the sculpted details, the mini jetpack sculpt on the back, which doubles as like a battery pack kind of homage and everything. The spring-loaded eject button for the tape deck, the, the fact that he has a pointy finger sculpted on his hand that could hold the gun and show that it's a trigger finger, or to show that he's pushing his uh, boombox button to open eject to transform. And uh, the mention of his Electro Scrambler Blaster, which is his gun that he has, and that E-Jack could also hold it, because it's the same peg that could be used for both characters. Again, nothing really new to mention here, but it's it's just nice to see that Hasbro is finally acknowledging them. And I, again, I think that it's just them going, okay, this is the stuff that we're going to use to kind of buy us time until we get the Transformers Legacy in April of next year. Because from what we've seen thus far... We have that core class hot rod that was leaked out, that that listing uh, for a core class wave four kingdom. And then, of course, now we have this deluxe class wave five with pipes and slammer. And then the Voyager class wave five with blaster. No word on a leader class for a wave four, let's say. And um, that's not too surprising because, again, if you look at Earthrise, Earthrise actually kind of cut off the leader classes after wave two. So chances are, I mean, that'll be the case. And, and while it might seem weird to see like, oh, is it going to be a core class with only one character or is it going to be a leader, uh, a deluxe class with only two characters per case? Sometimes that does happen. Sometimes they put a filler character in there. In the case of Earthrise, you know, they'll put like, you know, maybe because uh, it was like Double Crosser or something, or maybe they'll put, um, you know, Sound Barrier. They'll, they'll figure out some way in the case of Kingdom here that maybe Hot Rod will come with Soundwave. You know, they'll just put a filler character from the previous wave or something, maybe an Optimus, whatever's popular, whatever will work out, you know, to fill those holiday season shelves. Because the rumor that people had here was, oh, this is going to be like a, a Black Friday drop or something, or, or a holiday drop. I think it's going to be more of a holiday drop. That's that's my call, that I could see that all this stuff kind of hitting stores and probably pre-orders too, uh, maybe in December. Because they do mention, like, you know, this stuff will be uh, all figures coming soon to retail. So keep your, I guess they were keep your eyes peeled. It was an emo, it was an emoji that they used, but keep your eyes peeled. So chances are, like they mentioned before, this isn't something that's going to go up on pre order on their uh, Hasbro Pulse website or something like that, but will probably just be hitting retail at some point. And. I mean, if it's my call, I'm going to say the holiday season. That that just makes sense. Put a whole bunch of new product out there. It'll move very quickly. There's a lot of people already going nuts. And uh, that'll be that. And, and not to mention, not to mention, I mean, for Canadians, uh, Black Friday is coming up. And then for Americans, it's going to be the week afterwards. So, um, I mean, it's Thursday now of this recording. So maybe there's some people lining up for Black Friday already, you crazy people. Uh, and then, of course you know, for America the following week. So hope you guys have a good time. Happy hunting with all the, uh, all the toys that are out there to get some deals. I know there's a whole bunch of really good, uh, prices and good, uh, deals that are showing up for different things in the toy world. Hopefully we'll get more information on this. Um, not much else I could really say. 